So here we have the Spotbox web page. Here you can see the IP address for the default settings. If we click on Home, uh, we won't see much. Uh, let's just log out and log back in. So it's admin, admin to get into the box. So you click on that. You'll see the home has nothing listed. Under cameras, it's completely empty. In the discover section, it's also empty. Now here, we can add a camera manually. We could add an RTSP URL with a username and password if that's appropriate. Or we could add an Onviv URL. So that's like on with, you know, backslash, then the IP address, and also the username and password. So that's how to add manually. But if we want to add automatically on with cameras, we just click on the search button. And here we have a list of all the on with cameras on my network. And I'm going to select 0172. Uh, I'm going to type in the on with username and password in here which is admin in this case, and then a password of A1, B2, C3, D4. And then I'm going to add this camera. You can see it's now appeared at the bottom of the screen. And here you can query that camera to find its OnViv profiles. This will take a few moments, and eventually the camera will appear at the bottom showing the resolution and frame rate of the various profiles. So we can now save this, and this has now been saved to the camera section. If we move to the camera section now, here you can see one that didn't work earlier, so I'm going to delete that one. Anything that appears in red means that there was some sort of error, so I'm just going to delete that and apply. The one below has obviously been properly registered as it's in black. So now we can assign these, uh, this camera to the 2x2 two two grid in position 1, 3x3 three three in position 3, and 4x4. Four four. I'm going to edit that and make that one as well. So they're all going to appear in the top left-hand corner of each of the various display modes, 2x2, 3x3, 4x4. Obviously, I need to save this. Just take, so click Apply. And this is now saved. Now you can see in the top right hand corner, I've got VLC player effectively playing what the spot box is seeing. So the spot box has now uh, decoded this camera in 2x2 mode. And that's me with a slightly bald head below the camera. So now if we flip to 4x4, it's now displaying the 480p uh, profile because that's the only one it can display in 4x4 mode. If we go to 3x3 three three mode, it's also displaying the 480p because we don't actually have a 720p image that we could use for that. So it selects the next best one that it can find automatically. This is all done automatically in OnBit. So in 4x4, four four it will select the, sorry, 2x2, two two, it will select the 1080p image, and then in the remaining two, it selects the, uh, the 480p. Now, in this position here, C2, I can actually ent enter a manual RTSP URL. So I can give it a, a label and then type in the RTSP URL, which I'm not going to do in full, but you get the idea. And then if I save that, it will actually save that um, URL and allow me to display it in one of the other display modes. So I'm going to click Apply. Now... I'm just going to move to 2x2 two two mode. Right, now here's an example of a camera that's not connecting. So that URL is either wrong or there's some other error. So I'm going to try a different URL. So in this case I'm going to try 227, which I know is an authenticated RTSP URL. And again, it's not displaying because the authentication isn't in the URL. So here I now need to add the username and password. And the way to do that is put the username in, semicolon, then the password followed by the at symbol. And if I apply that, hopefully, you will see the second camera now appears in the top right hand corner. So there you go. So we've added an OnViv camera 
and manually we've entered a, an RTSP camera. And that's all there is to it.